First, congratulations on having a film at TIFF. More importantly, how does it feel being here too at, at this great barbecue? Part of, of course, celebrating uh, Canadian films. And like I said, in a moment, we're going to get a chance to talk about your film that you're in. Well, TIFF is one of those one of those things that you have to do if you want to, you know, be in the big leagues. Like to to be at TIFF is a dream come true. I've, I've never been to this film festival before. I have uh, heard tremendous stories about it. A lot of my friends have had films here, so to be here this year is, a, like I said, is a dream come true. It's great. Now, of course, to be here is usually a film. What's your film and what's it about, please? Uh, Love Jack is a runaway comedy that um, is a feel-good, romantic comedy in the classic sense. We have uh, Amber Stevens' character and Shamir Anderson's character. They um, go through shenanigans and, and love, uh, find love, but in the most um, kind of quizzical way. My character, uh, Ntumbi, is a uh, African businessman who uh, basically balks at his opportunity to marry Amber's character <laughs> and Shamir's uh, Shamir's character. He um, he gets in the middle and tries to convince um, tries to convince Amber's family. Um, I um, I'm blanking I'm blanking on the character names, but. Keith David it plays Amber's father. He tries to convince them that uh, he is me. It's it's a zany story to try to explain in a nutshell, but it's a feel-good runaway okay. romantic comedy in a nutshell. So when you have something like this, how hard is it to try to do the lines and everything when you know you just want to keep busting out laughing throughout every scene? Because that's what it sounds like that was going on through this film. Well, we were greats. So we had Marla Gibbs on set, Mike Epps, and uh, you know, the, just. Uh, Shamir is hilarious. I think it's uh, it, it helps the days go. You know, it helps when, when you have really funny people that you're working with, because you know the, the filmmaking process can sometimes um, be not as glamorous as it looks in moments like this. And so when you have a lot of humor on set, it definitely makes for a fun a fun shoot. And you know, it sounds like again, this is as as much as it's a comedy and everything else too. It's also showing a different side because we're looking at people of color. You know, yeah. it's not like what we saw from back in the day, it's like, we're normal. Well, absolutely. <laughs> the, the success of the film is that it it bridges the gap between the proverbial African experience and the proverbial African-American experience yeah. in that uh, my character, Mtumbe Bamburi, is a South African businessman, um, and Amber, Amber's is, her character is an African-American woman. They find love. There's some betrayal, some heartbreak that happens, and then Shamir swoops in, representing you know the the, the Canadian um, Canadian experience, and and it, and you and you see that as much as our cultures are diverse and different, um, there's a lot of similarity, and similarity as well, and uh, I think it offers an opportunity for people from all walks of life to see into black love in a really beautiful and interesting way. Cannot wait to see this. Look, man, congratulations on the film. And very quickly, anything else coming up in the future for you? Sure. I have, um, currently I can be seen on in Rampage. Uh, I have a film coming out called Body Cam next year. Um, and I'm on Frontier, which is on Netflix, opposite Jason Momoa. Um, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff, good stuff coming out. Yeah. Looking forward to it again. And congratulations to the film. Thank you so much for this. Cheers, man. Thank you, Ruth. Congratulations on your film. How does it feel having a film out during, of course, Toronto International Film Festival? Uh, I consider one of the best festivals you can have anywhere around the world. Uh, it's great to bring out a film. I mean, we're going to be coming out in Canada on November 7th in theaters. And we'll be coming out on October 26th in the U.S. So it's just great having the cast. You know, come to an event like this and get to have a little bit of a reunion. So it's great. Now I've had a chance to speak with some of your cast members. Everybody's got sort of like their own thought about what the film is. So I want to get it from you. What exactly is this about? Well, you know, it's about family. It's about love. It's about the challenges of family. Uh, you know, ultimately, it's about a young girl who uh, or a young woman 
who tries to kind of, you know, have her independence. And she goes to Africa to discover herself, and then she comes back home with a fiancé. And basically through that whole process, she realizes that she can discover herself at home. She can discover herself with her family. Why that approach? Uh, and to me, when you have this type of a story, I mean, people always like to look at the black culture. This is so many different black cultures and so many different levels. Like, wow, what a way to put it all together in one film. Well, I think, you know, that's what the black culture is. It's diversity. We have all kinds of stories to tell. We come from all over the place, and we don't just tell that one, one story. And unfortunately, in the media, we've been kind of fed that one sort of story. It's kind of like this hood story that we've been fed over and over, and we have so many other stories to share with the world. And so really that's what this is about for us, sharing a, a different story, but still our story. Now I kind of mentioned too about cast members, who are some of the stars in this film? Well, we've got uh, Shamir Anderson, who's just great, you know, he's Canadian. We got Amber Stevens West, who's just fantastic, great actress. Um, we have some real stalwarts. We have uh, uh, Mike Epps. Uh, we have Marla Gibbs from the Jeffersons. I, was say, I could not imagine having the two of them on one film. That's got to be loads of laughs. Yeah, no, they were. It was great. And uh, you know, we have other Canadian actors that have been doing uh, all kinds of stuff. Lyric Bent just uh, starred in Acrimony. Uh, so we have a, a real mixture of, of talent from both Canada and the U.S. What do you hope people are going to get from this film? Well, I'm, I'm hoping they're going to, first of all, have a lot of fun, have a really good laugh, leave with a warm feeling, realizing that there's all kinds of stories to be told, and they've just seen a, a very um, original, uh, heartwarming story of this family that happens to be a black family. Fantastic. And again, when are we going to get a chance to see this? Uh, it'll be in Canada on November 7th, and uh, coming out in theaters across the country and in uh, the U.S. on October 26th. Okay, fantastic. Congratulations on the film and thank you for the interview. Thank you.